Good morning, you guys. It is 6.30, as you can tell by my voice. All ready for Seoul. I was gonna wear the pink matching top with these leggings, like in the little matching set, but I thought I would mix it up, and I just put on this Lulu sports bra. That has been my fave recently. If I can find it, I'll link it down below because I'm just obsessed with like this print, and I have it in shorts. I think I'm gonna get it in leggings. They have it at the Seoul today. I've been seeing that they have this print of leggings, but it says like Seoul on it. So, yes, off to Seoul. What's new? I like never go to 7 a.m. classes, but I've been getting better at getting up earlier, so here we go. I'm gonna stop talking, this is painful. <laughs> I'm back, and that was so fun. I actually went with my best friend and roommate, Taylor's mom, because she's visiting, and Taylor was working, and Max had his other workout, but we had so much fun, and I love going with people when it's their first time. It's just like so fun to like introduce it to them, so got a shower, and we'll see what's in store for the rest of the day. Okay, hi. Lots of time has passed. I just got back from my physical therapy. It went really well. And I actually like had a realization today that my physical therapy is coming to an end pretty soon because basically I'm a little over like four weeks post-op now. Or four weeks, oh my God. Four months, it feels like four weeks, but it's crazy that it's already been four whole months and now even longer. And basically I have used, like in my insurance plan, I get 30 visits a year and my 30 visits are up next week. Wow, sorry, I'm like really slow right now. I'm very exhausted from getting up so early the past couple days, it's very new for me. So she's like, don't forget these exercises and gave a bunch to me and blah, blah, blah. But I'll still be with her next week. But then I think after that, I can pretty much do it on my own because now I just know what's gonna hurt my knee, what's gonna make it feel better, how to improve, how to get stronger. And I can always, I've been, considering maybe getting a personal trainer just someone that has like experience with people that have torn ACLs and gone through reconstruction surgery just so that I'd be doing like what's best for my name but anyway enough about that I'm really excited I've never been like so excited for a package for so long I don't know why oh actually I do know why oh Max is playing Fortnite so basically I ordered from I was about to say Pottery Barn actually Pottery Barn teen. I've been eyeing this robe for so long and I kept questioning to myself, Gretchen, do you really need this robe or do you just think you need it? But I could not stop thinking about it for like months. So I ordered it and I've been counting down the days till it came and I got an email today and I literally got so excited. Like I just thought it was so fun to get so excited over a package. All I'm saying is I'm really excited because it's like this big furry robe and I haven't had like a furry robe like this since I was a kid. Like I've always just had Oh yeah, I made the right decision. I've always just had my like silky one from Victoria's Secret for the past couple years. Hopefully it fits me, because it was on PB Teen. Maybe there was one on an actual Pottery Barn. I don't know why. I've just always seen this one. I forget how I like knew about it. I swear someone posted about it on Instagram. I could not tell you who, it was probably a while ago. Just like I said, I've been thinking about it forever. <laughs> okay, queen. <gasps> <laughs> for that guys i thought maybe it was gonna be too small or anything it literally looks perfect it's this massive fluffy oh my gosh i'm literally about to take a nap it's like 5 30 right now but i am so tired i'm just gonna like curl up in my bed like this oh the sleeves could be a little longer but actually they're good wait this is literally perfect because i figure in potty ring teen for a teenager it's probably like a size small that's what i am so don't mind me, everybody. Wait, I'm so, this was like oh. <laughs> the best purchase I ever made. It probably looks really funny with like my white leggings. <laughs> the guy never wear these white Lululemon leggings that I showed you guys that I got a while ago just because I'm terrified of getting them dirty, which I haven't gotten them that dirty. I wore them on the plane to Miami when I went with Max and they got like a little dirty from travel, but not really, so, so far so good. I just feel like chatting with you guys for a moment. All I have to say is I was realizing today after I showered and like now how my hair is. Can we just talk for a quick, can we have a quick hair talk? My hair has gotten so long, it is out of control. Like look at it. But all I was gonna say is do you guys realize how reliant we are on our leave-in conditioners? Because I didn't realize it. I went home and I was like, oh, I don't need to bring my leave-in conditioner. I use the It's a 10 one, if you guys know what that is. I feel like everybody knows what that is. It's like at every store. 
it's like stupid expensive but all i'm trying to say is we're so reliant on our leave-in conditioners if you use them if you didn't realize because i didn't realize and i went home you didn't have it i should have closed that door i went home and i didn't have it and my hair literally felt so dead like straw and now today when i had it back in it's like smooth and soft and dries like this like pretty straight like a little bumpy in the front from putting it behind my ears but like Good again. Thank your leading conditioners because they're probably oh, They're probably fixing your hair. Do any of your boyfriends sound like that when they play Fortnite? Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm just so excited about my new robe. I literally titled this video my fluffy new robe! Exclamation point, yay! I don't know why this is so exciting for me. I just haven't had a robe like this in so long. So this is just like the best hair. Catch me wearing this every single day for the rest of my life. Oh, thank God it has pockets. I get really like freaked out if things don't have pockets. Like I actually bought a pair of sweatpants from Aritzia not too long ago, like a couple weeks ago. I gotta still see if I can return them because they don't have pockets. And I'm like, I just simply won't ever wear them. I've never even tried them on still. I just bought them because I saw them and I thought they looked cute. And then I realized they don't have pockets, so I just know I won't wear them. I just like need pockets. This is really funny with the white leggings. Once we get our furniture and there's like couches in here, LOL, I don't know when that's ever gonna happen but once we do catch me laying on them all day with this fluffy robe it's so warm i'm getting like so toasty in here good morning everybody <laughs> i just wanted to speak to you guys for a moment good morning i literally just put my hair in this low bun because i didn't know what was going on so it's probably really weird to me i like have never had my hair in a low bun oh my god i Max, I thought that churro was like you. I was like, who's that person over there? <sighs> oh my god, it's 11.15. We were gonna try to leave for the Cape earlier, but basically, I slept in. I really needed sleep because I've been getting up so early the past couple days and like not sleeping, so. But then I've just been packing for the Cape. We're about to leave in a bit. We wanted to leave earlier, but it's okay. And we've had these wonderful cinnamon buns just waiting for us in the fridge. And I was like, Honestly, I'm gonna be real because I like to just be real with you guys. I woke up crying and cried all morning So that's why it's been taking me so long to get going because today would have been my dad's 55th birthday And you guys know we lost him in May or not May in March and Yeah, sorry. I'm not gonna talk about it too long. I'll get emotional and like frazzled and sad So honestly, I feel like with grief I really don't know because it's new to me and you guys know better than me But I always feel better after I let it out when I try to hold it in is when it like keeps creeping up during the day and like coming back and I'm like at physical therapy crying to my physical therapist and like that shouldn't be happening so Since I was like really sad when I woke up because I immediately was like, oh look, it's July 3rd. Um I Just cried for a while let it all out not to get too into it, but I know I need to go to therapy and like all of your guys' comments. I remember one in specific, like there were several that was saying this, but one was like you get in like a really dark place if you don't start going like right away. Because right when you go, when you like actually need to go, it's like too late, if that makes sense. Like you need to go from the beginning because you just like can't process like such a big loss in your life and kind of like i know i like push it out of my brain and just pretend that it's like not real and i'm like he's on vacation or like golfing with his friends like and especially when i'm in boston it's easy because he was never here to begin with like he was always at home with my mom so then me being here i'm like oh i'm just like in boston and he's just not here he's just at home or golfing or on vacation like I said, which isn't like a healthy way to cope with it. So just being honest, but just getting me to go see someone is gonna be like the hardest part, just getting there. But I know I just need to do it. Next week when I get back from the Cape, I'm just gonna start making some calls and figuring it out because mental health is a priority, people. It's important. Also, physical health is, but sometimes your mental health, you need a cinnamon bun. Cape. Wait, I think I want to show them my other package too. Okay, so basically, I feel like I haven't like bought stuff online in so long. I want to show you guys because I'm like, I feel like I don't have like new clothes. I have like 
old clothes. And so I wanted new clothes for the summer and for like trips and whatever. And I'm so happy these came just in time because we're leaving for the cave today. So I ordered from Frankie's. Okay, so I got this top and I remember it's in the color called Lemon Drop and it's way more neon than we thought it was gonna be. We thought it was gonna be more like light yellow, but regardless, I love it. And I've just always been seeing the style and loving it. And I think, I don't know if Frankie's like started it, but I've seen like so many pictures of it and thought it was like beautiful. It's this really soft like ribbed material and they actually were out of stock in a small and I think an extra small. So I get a medium, everyone says their stuff runs small anyway and I figured like you can tie it tight like a medium and a small aren't gonna be that different and then the bottoms were out of stock in like every size except for like an extra large or something so I just couldn't get the bottoms and I'm trying to get like my hands on those but I'll just find other bottoms to wear them with and then this bathing suit was actually on sale which is cool because Frankie's stuff is so expensive and yeah these were like each the top was 90 and the bottoms were 100 to begin with and like this top I bought full price was probably it doesn't even say on it like 90 100 whatever their stuff's expensive but I love their bathing suits are so soft and like really good quality right Max I agree <laughs> and so this top is called the Tanner top and sage and if you like it go get it now because I feel like when stuff's on sale it like disappears you know but yeah and it just has this pretty crochet and then the bottoms I thought were so pretty and these were actually out of small out of stock and extra small and a small, so I had to get a medium. But I feel like they're, I know they're gonna be fine. They're not gonna be that much different than the small would be anyway. So I'm really excited about that. And you guys, this is the first time I ordered from Aritzia. And my package came today too. And I'm so excited. I've been waiting to buy a lot of stuff on there until there was like a sale. And finally, the other day when I went online, I noticed that they were having a sale. And their stuff is so expensive. So yeah, I've just been waiting for that. And I actually remember. I think it was Maggie talking about how she loved that their stuff, their stuff is packaged really nice because there's not like a bunch of unnecessary packaging, like all this stuff was just folded in a bag. So that's like obviously good for the environment. When I first shopped there, I remember being like, oh my god, why is this place so expensive? Like kind of like talking negatively about them, but everyone was like, no Gretchen, it's because their stuff is such good quality, they're like such a sustainable company, and yeah, it's just like really good stuff that's going to last you forever, so anyway, I've been wanting to get a bunch of stuff, this is a bunch of stuff I ordered, oh, and the rest of it, it split up into two shipments, so the rest of it is coming, like, once I get back from Cape Cod, so this is just a yellow tank top, it's called Lemon Meringue Winberg. it's just this yellow little tank top, it's going to be so good when we're here with like, white jeans or something. I'm so excited. It does feel like really good stuff. Like it's not, it doesn't feel like for 21, you know? Okay, this I'm so excited for. I got like them as matching. It's way brighter than I even Put thought it would be. shades on to see those things, jeez. <laughs> so these are the Equator seven inch shorts and they're $18. Like that's so cheap to begin with and I think that's not on sale. These are so bright. I've been getting into bigger shorts. I think I said I would never do it. Mm -hmm. And here I am doing it. But they're just really comfortable to throw on and I feel like you can wear them with everything. Like I just love being cozy. And then this goes with it perfect. I'm so excited. This was like the last one in a medium, which is perfect because I would like want it to be oversized anyway. And so I snatched this baby up. Yeah, it's a medium. Perfect hoodie, GD Neon Sunset. Yeah, and this is the TNA. I don't know if it's like different brands or lines or something with Aritzia. So excited. I didn't know I was gonna be showing you all this stuff, like a little impromptu haul. Wilfred Free Burget White Tank Top in a small. Oh, and this I have a funny story about. Me and Max were home at one point in Albany, and I found this tank top in Lucy's closet, and I'm like, oh, she must have left it here and doesn't want it. And I took it back to Boston, and I was wearing it, and I like loved it, and she was like, hey, that's my Aritzia tank top. Like, I want it back. And so, then I knew it was from Aritzia, and I got to get it. I love that it's like, kind of like double layered, like it's really good quality, and like thick, and I like the stretchy straps, it makes it cozy. You're like, you're so, you're like soaking this all in listening. Yeah. <laughs> Cutie. What I also, want? oh that must have been in the next shipment. I also got this in black because I was like, this is like the best little basic crop tank top, but that'll be in the next shipment. And this, I've had my eye on for so long. I know it's just a purple sweatshirt, but to me it's a purple sweatshirt. I've literally been looking at this for like a month and it finally went on sale and I wanna say I got it for like 40 bucks. I'm so excited about it. Oh, they're oversized stuff. Isn't this funny? It comes in like three sizes. It's one, two, and three. So you just like, so it must be like small, medium, large. I don't know. So I just got the middle one, which I guess would be medium. So it would be like big, cozy, and I'm so excited. 
What is this called? This is the Billy Soft Light Wag Tiana. I don't really know. I like struggle on there with what everything's called and I feel like everything looks so similar and whatever but yeah I just want to show you my fun little packages I got we just got to Barnstable and we ordered a sandwich and I got a chicken Caesar wrap from Barnstable Market and so we're just waiting out front for our food I'm so excited I need to like put on real clothes I still have leggings and a sports bra on. This sports bra, for, I forget what it's called, but it's Fabletics, so you guys go in there and you'll find it. And these leggings are new and I just put them on for the first time today and I love them. We were saying they look just like my Lulu Speed Tights, but I like these better already because they like don't fall down and I don't know. I'm like really excited to spin in them and I never saw them on there. These are the High Waisted Statement Pure Lux 7 8 and yeah, I think I just never saw High Waisted Statement Pure Lux on there or like tried it out and so I was like, I'm gonna try those puppies out. And I love like the fabric of them. They're like stretchy but like athletic-y but like soft, I don't know. I'm just really excited about them. I need to put on like a t-shirt and shorts because oh, why is my hair cut on my necklace? <laughs> it's so hard being a girl. You guys, I'm dead. I just tried on, obviously, the sweatshirt and the little shorts I showed you. And I don't know why I didn't think that I was going to look like a hot pink neon traffic cone. <laughs> but it's like way more neon in person. It's almost like you can't even tell. It's even brighter in person than it is on camera. But I love like the quality of everything. Like This is so cozy and the perfect fit. And I'm so happy I got a medium because I wouldn't want it any like tighter. You know, it's just like big and oversized. And then these I got in a small, but they're like so stretchy and feel like the best material and so comfy. And I feel like all the biker shorts I've had before haven't been like fitting me perfect and these fit me perfect. So I'm still really excited about it even though I definitely won't be wearing them together like I thought maybe I could. Like I feel like if it was like a gray sweatshirt and like gray little biker shorts or like black, white, like neutrals you could. But this is like a little, a little crazy. This is the purple sweatshirt that I was looking for for so long. Well not looking for looking at just like on their website and not like searching for but just wanting for so long and I feel like a good thing to know at least in my opinion everything on their website like all these colors were a lot more like muted and like light looking I don't know it's probably just how it shows up on camera like in the photos because I feel like in the video right now this looks like a really light purple but in person everything's a little bit more colorful like a little bit darker a little bit more like saturated if that makes sense because in real life I feel like this is like truly purple but I thought it was gonna be more of like a light lilac pastel anyway I still love it though it's so cozy everything just fits so well and I feel like it's made so well I love this and I took off the <laughs> the neon um little biker shorts because yeah it just didn't look good with the purple someone commented on my video the other day and corrected me and said it's bike or biker shorts. I think biker is like working out shorts, but then bike shorts is like what these like trendy, just tight little shorts are called. I forget, but yeah, someone let me know. <laughs> okay, I guess this is turning into a little impromptu try on haul. Like I said, these aren't right These are just Lulu shorts that I've had that I'm obsessed with, by the way, and I really want to get in like black. These are the, I forget what this color is called, but just this like gray and white stripey pattern back to the Aritzia clothes because I was just too excited I had to try them on so I really love this white top and I feel like the other colors are just making me realize that I don't like colors that much <laughs> like I just like neutrals like I'm like I love that like neon sweatshirt and little spandex but I just wish they were like gray or something you know I actually ordered a gray sweatshirt that's coming in the next shipment but yeah this white tank top is so stretchy and like soft and such good material and it just looks so good and does anybody else have like <laughs> TMI like I don't know I feel like I have pokey nipples that always show through everything but then like some of my friends can get away with like never wearing a bra but I'm like you literally can see my whole nipple but like I don't really care and I usually just wear it like this anyway. Does that happen to anybody else? <laughs> okay, this light yellow tank top is VC through so I'm sparing you the pain of having to like look at my nipples and <laughs> show through it. But I'm obsessed with it. Like I'm so pleasantly surprised by everything and just how like nice everything is. Like this is stretchy but like thick and like... Oh, I love I just need a bra with it. Okay, you guys this is what I get for trying to be colorful Literally, okay. See see even on the camera. It looks yellow. lighter yellow, but in here. It's like it's like neon bright yellow in person Yeah, there you can tell how like neon it is. I don't even know 
but basically me trying to be colorful it just isn't working out because everything is like so bright and I'm just like oh my god I wish I just got it in like white or black or something but this is the Willa top from Frankie's and I really like it and I think the back is cool and everything but I don't know if I like the color and I can't even find like the bottom for it anywhere anyway okay last but not least this Frankie's bikini is definitely my favorite out of like everything or no I love I love that red sea clothes but like for swimwear out of well it's better than the other top I <laughs> think because the other top's just really bright and this is gonna be like one of my favorite bathing suits I just love it it's like that sage green color I definitely am like a small on the Frankie's tops like my boobs are not that big and I actually really like the medium for bottom so it doesn't feel like too tight and yeah it's just perfect I've actually worn these bottoms before in red I like borrowed my friends once and I love like the stretchy coach crochet because a lot of times like crochet things are like not stretchy not comfortable but this is like a stretchy soft cozy one and I just love this color because it's very like chill and not like neon so yeah sorry this turned into like a try on all I didn't know this was going to happen but I just got excited about everything I ordered so moving on with Cape Cod <laughs> we're back taking the convertible everybody you love driving this in the summer <laughs> and right as we Please said we were going in the convertible <laughs> They're so cute. Bye. <laughs> Baby's taking pictures. Oh, God. <laughs> right, as we said, we were taking the convertible. I put my hair up because I was like, this is going to be crazy if I don't. <laughs> Guys, look at the line. Why was it not this bad last time we were here? Because it wasn't really like summer yet. It was like 11 o'clock at night. Oh yeah, and it's July 3rd, so. Ooh, that one's mine? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was yours. Oh. That's good. That looks good. It tastes like a rich Yum, yum, yum. I thought it was gonna be chocolate ice cream. No, it's a chef. It's peanut butter with chocolate chip. You need to hold so I can get the money. Everyone, come to Four C's and get peanut butter chip chocolate. I don't know why it's called that. It's confusing to say. It's a peanut butter chocolate one and it's so good. I got cookie dough. Mm -hmm. That one's good too. Also, Lucy, thank you for letting me steal your green t tank top. You didn't even know I did. It was in your closet oh. at home. It's from Brandy Melville. And I like don't have any tank tops like this. And I wanted it, so I took it. <laughs> mm. Guys, look how pretty. You can see where the sun went down. We just swallowed down our ice creams in one bite. And now we're at the beach. I'm gonna take these puppies off. It's funny because it's so dark out and my camera makes it look like it's lighter than it really is. Like, look at how light it looks. Yeah. And like us. Dark, light, No, dark. like light. Yeah. Like, doesn't it look like yeah, daytime? It does. Well, that's weird. <laughs> We're at the beach. La la la. <laughs> Let's go touch the water. Wait, guys. Last time I was here, you didn't even see the footage. It like somehow got cut off the end of my like Cape Cod vlog of me on a lifeguard tower, just like that, and Max helping me get down. And I'm gonna insert it right here because it was really fun. Look at our boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> we came up this little stand. Lifeguard stand. Lifeguard stand. <laughs> Duh, I should know I was a lifeguard. <laughs> Yo, this little stand that's on the beach. <laughs> I wanted help getting down. <laughs> okay, you ready? We're in a I'm gonna let go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Woo! Needs to be on the vlog. 